So, <clears throat> the first thing I want to do is, and again, I want you to just follow along. The first thing you need to understand, your champion is the, one of the safest champions in the game, okay? At least in okay. terms of sustain. He is only weak, pre-6, but even that, it's pretty, It's he's pretty easy to play and, and to be safe. So, I want you to look at my screen, okay? When mm -hmm. you farm, see above right here, above your passive, you see this thing? Yeah. That's your fleet, okay? Watch me. So when I go to uh, when I go to Q, I get fleet. You see that little burst of move speed I get? Yeah. See this thing? See how it's at 37? It stacks as you move, so stay mobile, okay? Every time it's okay. full up, when you move and auto a minion, even with your Q, you get fleet, see? Mm hmm So this is how you farm. You literally just move like this in this way, and then at the last second, you walk up, You'll Q and you'll run away. Minions are pushing, by the way, because I'm like level 18 and that's just what happens. Which reminds me, I should probably end by saying, um, if you're watching this, this is pretty much last call for boot camp stuff. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have, I mean, maybe one more sh quick shout out, but like, you know, the boot camp starts on the 12th of September. Um, I'm going to record the content and have that ready to go. It's exclusive content only for people that uh, purchase the boot camp. Not to mention the fact that it's a whole week long event. Uh, the goal of the boot camp again, uh, it's a week long one. So we're gonna aim, we're gonna aim on a banger here. Aim for a banger. I, I want people playing. What should I make it for this boot camp? I think it's really important for this one that we try to get people playing 30 games in a week ranked that's that's what's going to be my goal i know that's a little high but i think it'll make it exciting to see how many people can get there and i'll be looking through people's results at the end too um and having myself and the team look through but make sure to go to discord.gg bootcamp or bootcamp.lol to sign up I'm going to be recording that content tomorrow. I don't think I'll be on tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to make, I'm going to emphasize making sure the boot camp's ready. Um, but I should be back on Sunday uh, to make sure that we're a go for the boot camp. And then, uh, yeah, Monday, <clears throat> we'll get it popping. So what this drill is, is this to practice your auto attack moving and all that, right? Okay. So first I'm going to demo it and then I'm going to put your screen on my screen and just watch you do it. Okay. So just so the stream okay. can see and it's documented. So the idea is to start, you are going to practice all inning. So you got a guy in range, right? And you want to fuck mm -hmm. him up. So all you're going to do is you're going to ghost, wither, alt, auto Q, move forward. You throw your E in there, auto Q, auto Q, auto Q, auto Q. Auto Q, and then you can come back and just practice moving like this between each auto Q. You see this? Mm -hmm. Now, at the beginning, like level six, you're not going to be able to Q that fast, okay? But the right. idea is I that, like, you want to play it like you're a little scaled up so you see how fast it gets. Okay, cool. So, now, go ahead so, and give that a try. So, first thing, just to talk through this, if, if you'll forgive me. So, yeah, we want ghosts so that we can go fast. Yep. And then we then we wither them. You wither, so then already... yep. So we wither then ghost or ghost then wither. You just ghost to like get up to them. I mean, realistically, if you already can wither them, you would just wither them and then ghost and like ult. Um, okay. The idea though is that you need to play very confident when you have ult and you're committing to it all in. And normally withering and just dumping your E on their head and like ulting all that together is normally plenty. And then you could just pound on them with auto Q and just like wiggle around. But the, the point right. is, is that you're trying to go along the minion or along the dummies with each auto Q so that you practice like they're going to run to their tower. This is what this simulates. They're going to run away. Okay, cool. All right, so, I got you. All right, so let's hit them. Auto Q. Mix your E in as well. Now, really with the auto Q. Okay, so this is already good. So really imagine it's a one-two punch, okay? You want that? Okay. Why? Okay, go ahead and let Nasus auto attack. I really want to teach you this first. Like, let Nasus auto. Be... Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Should no, I be good. using the, sh the shift A? I use A left click. 
Yeah, I'm sorry. That's that's what I meant. Cause I, I mean, I'd use it all the time. Yes, you should, but I'm starting you light first. Okay. Okay, cool. 10 you gotcha. should be using all that, right. but yeah. So the idea is go ahead and let Nasus auto attack that, that uh, creep or that dummy. Now, you see his animation? You see yeah. that that little like uh like right Bam. as he strikes? That's when you need to cue. I really want you aiming that shit. Okay? So try to like really like nah, not close enough. Like really nail that timing. No, nope. it's way too wide. I want auto cue. Like snap right as the cue right as the auto hits, you should cue. Still still could be sooner. There you go. Now you look like you're fucking gaming. Did you feel the difference? That was slow. I did. Try it again. Okay. See the difference? Yeah. Yeah, that means you were too early. Try it on a different dummy. You got to okay. make sure that the auto goes through. That's the only rule. That's looking better already. See how clean that is? It's way yeah. better. Now, why does this matter? So when you're new, you won't really understand like why this matters. The idea is that getting that that clean auto attack reset is very, very essential to maximizing DPS. Your opponents are gonna run away from you. So when you can hit them, you need to get the most damage off as fast as you can because if you're stuck in animation, you can't move as well. So it's harder okay. to catch them and your damage comes out slower. So if a guy flashes away from you because you were too slow, this is this might be the problem, right? Or if you miss a kill by an auto attack, you may have not auto queued in time. So now let's uh, press Shift X twice. So press Shift X once, and then press it again. And let's back up and do this uh, combination again, like the all the full rotation. I really want you to practice nailing those auto cues, okay? So the same yeah, drill, but it. just try it again. Okay, cool. So flash R. There you go. It oh, looks better. Shit. It's okay. That one was too early because you can yeah. kind of tell when you didn't get your auto attack off, right? Yeah, that one, that second one felt better. That yep. one in the middle felt, that was too early. That was too late. And that one felt better. Yeah, so shift X twice again. The reason we're doing shift X twice, by the way, is because you're turning, you're, you're resetting your cooldowns, but making them so they don't like auto reset. So you get an actual representation of like what the, the timing feels like. All right, cool. Tempar, I got you. Okay, so let's so try again. I want to go then alt, then wither. Or so just... it's it's about it's about if it, we need to hit the wither. So if the target was really far away, that's why you're ghosting just to like get there, okay. right? But all like right, if he's so, on yeah. top of you, you would just wither. I mean, if you could wither and walk it in by all means, but normally it's so much better to like ghost. You know, like alt, wither, ghost, like any combination of that, just so you could try to get behind them. Because when you go, they're gonna run fast to their tower. They're scared. Is the idea right okay i got you all right so you're imagining that they're like fucking they're piecing out so every auto your goal is to keep sliding forward right and imagine that like they're running away from you those auto attack resets are getting a little late yeah yeah there that was early go. that was uh, that one oh, that was early. yeah because you're you can tell normally because it means that the damage didn't go through on the auto there you go. Those yeah. are good. Yeah. You can kind of feel it, right? Like you should be able to feel yeah. when you're doing it yeah. well. This is so important on so many champions. This is why I like Nasus. He's got a cool auto attack reset with his Q. That was too early. He's got a cool auto attack reset with his Q. And the idea is that you just watch that animation, like watch it hit and then use that ability. Darius okay. has these. Trinomir kind of has one with E. It's like a reverse. It's like you you auto E away, right? Um, mm -hmm. There's, you know, so many champions have auto attack resets. So it's really important that you understand like what it looks like and what people are doing, what people are talking about. You know, Cho'Gath's W, for example? Mm -hmm. Auto attack reset as well. Or sorry, not his W's E. Auto attack reset. The spikes. Oh, okay. So you could auto oh, E. Yeah. And that's a reset. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. So it's yeah, just that's... important that you understand what an auto attack reset is, what that entails. So that mm -hmm. when someone says this champion has an auto attack reset, you're not like, what the fuck does that mean? Right? Oh, it's... that cooldown is fucking yeah, yeah. a little bit. Yeah, on yeah, that no, that, no, you, your eyes will get used to tracking the cooldowns as well. So, you know, you'll be able to tell like when you can add an auto attack reset is what you're looking for, right? Now, right, okay. we're going to ramp this up a little bit. Difficulty. The idea now is you're going to press Shift X twice. 
Now, I want you to mix in your gargoyle stone plate at the end of the all-in to the back dummy. So, like, okay. when you get to the back of this line, I want you to use your gargoyle yeah. stone plate while juggling everything else. So, let's do it again. <laughs> okay, cool. So, the idea is that, like, right, you're, running, running, you're going all in. Yeah, yeah, you're doing your auto tech resets. Sweet. You're doing your best. Throw your E in there, too. Your E is very important. Okay, there you go. Yep, throw another W down. Very important that you try to get everything off, like... Because this, this, basically... If you can't all in as Nasus when we hit six, we're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> right. <laughs> so like, we gotta make sure that when we go, we at least know what need needed to happen. Right. right? Before yeah, I throw you into this. <laughs> yeah, you would definitely have a bad time if you did not if you did not land the all in. Try it one more time. Oh. Cool. No, that's all good. Yeah. Press Shift X twice. Good. At least you're figuring out the the drill. That's what I'm after. Yeah. You can just run Ooh, the ghost. Right. You can run the ghost again. It's fine. Let's go. Okay. Cool. All right, so go, oh, oh man. All no, right, it's fine. No, 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 you're good. You're good. If, if you ghosted and withered, you probably kill him even if you're old slate. Like, it's fine. Right. The most okay. important yeah. thing is that, like, you land wither and you're going behind him. That's what I care about. So, go. All right. See, yeah, I'm just having a little problems here. <laughs> you're good. Wither needs to be the main thing, though. Because right okay. now, if, see, you haven't even withered yet. Because right now, if I was the enemy, I would have gotten away yeah, from you. Yeah, you would have been gone. Press shift yeah, C, press it twice. There you go. Shift X again. Yeah, I just give you your mana back, that's all. Oh, okay, cool. All right, let's run it back. What is this turkey I keep hearing? Turkey? Uh, I can't hear your in-game noise. Oh, okay. All right, yeah. never mind. Sorry. No, no, it's you're good. not important. <laughs> it's fine. Try to mix <laughs> in your E right away. Your E reduces armor. There you go. And then you're at the back, so use Gargoyle Stone Plate. There you go. What's your and keep auto attack resetting, like very important. The idea is that you need to be able to do all this shit and keep mobile, right? That's all. Yeah. If you can do this, the, you'll get you'll get kills. Like I promise you, it'll be very easy actually to get kills with Nasus at six. Right. In abilities and summoner spells, you see how it says Shift Q, Shift W, Shift E, Shift R. Yeah. I'm gonna send you that real quick. What this does, I you need to make sure that you have your uh, your stuff looking like this, or your settings looking like this, because what we're doing is our. I mean, the main thing is just to make sure you have quick cast on. So click click uh, quick cast all. Is this only for practice tool or is this for No, this for is for the game. The it's for the game. Okay. Quick cast all. Yeah, and so what this is... Remember I told you that eventually you're going to have to farm minions from range with E? Yeah. So when you have quick cast, look, when I tap it, I instantly cast. You see that? No indicator. See it? Yeah, okay. This is manual oh. cast. Okay, now, um, with Nasus, and, and I'm not by any means disagreeing, this is just a question. Like, I, I've i mostly played Zero Support, and mm -hmm. with her, like, getting the mangle so I can see where I'm throwing my root and, like, where I'm putting my thing is almost crucial for exactly. me. Exactly, that's why oh. you have this. Oh, so you hit shit. Gotcha, 10-4. So the idea is that I give, I've now given you uh, function, like functionality between the two. Like, you could choose. All right, yeah, I smell what you're so saying. So now, here. when you're fighting that set, for example, you know, you don't really have to aim, right? You literally just have to go like this, right? And just spam your shit. Yeah. It doesn't matter, right? Okay, cool. Now, however, there's going to come a situation. I want you to pay very close attention. There's going to come a situation you. where the wave is like this. And your minions are like this, right? And if you E more than one minion... This is what happens. So if I just E, look. That's not good when you want the wave to pull to you, right? So what right. you want to do is as a minion gets low, you want to keep yourself as safe as possible and only hit that one minion like this, look. Okay. This way you can last hit, but you don't push the wave. Because that's what I was telling you, like, 
when you're new, people will go E because they're, you know, they see minions low and they go like this. And now the minion wave starts moving like this. And now you're right. stuck here, right? Right. That's okay. what you're trying to and, avoid. And, and you know, like when I played with Cho, like I felt like that was acceptable because I could poke under their tower really easily. But with Nasus and the way that we're playing with this framework, I understand that like a slow push, like if we're going to slow push, like that's not what we want because we're not trying to crash a tower. We're trying to freeze it on our end, right? We want, this is, okay, so I'll draw it out for you. This is ideal right here, okay? This is the ideal lifestyle for Nasus. Right here. This is it. Okay. If we're here, right next to tower, our opponents, you can see our opponents are like one step from getting hit, right? Right. They get too close. Look. Now... That's why you want to be right here, and you want to do this shit where, like, the minions are here. Sorry, the minions are like this. And you're just, like, in and out of these minions, and your opponent has to, like, choose, right? Like, can I walk forward or not while you're just chilling under tower farming? Okay. Now, let me explain something real fast with, uh, let me go... I want you to see this and understand it and like really because you're dropping farm left and right and I think this would help. Okay. Very simple. Melee creeps, two tower shots, and an auto. Okay, so here you go. Ready? I have no items. One, two, bam. One, two, bam. One tower shot, auto Q for Nasus. See how one auto doesn't kill? Yep. So it would be auto Q. Oh, gotcha. Totally. So, so again, okay. Yeah, again, you're going to see it. And the idea is I'm going to I'm going to get all the farm this time, okay? I'm just going to show you. So it's definitely doable. You just have to think about it. So bam bam Q for me for me yep. melee. Bam Q. And then for auto, it's bam, auto Q. Yeah, you could auto Q and like mix in your E. There, technically, I could even just use a Q for the, the, the range creeps. I don't even have to auto Q, right? Okay. But the point I'm trying to show you is it's fucking repeatable. It's a repeatable thing. It's every time. Look. It's the same thing. So, bam, bam, Q. Now the cannon, you just, it's, I don't know how exactly how many tower shots it is. But the idea is that, like, you just watch, pay attention, and bam. Great. So, a uh, question for you. So, when when you're waiting, when the, the tower has targeted the Kang Yu minion. Yes. It is... What I want to do is go work on another one and wait. But I think what that's doing is throwing me off my thing. And then yes, I go Yes, when, when you're new, when you're new... It's so much better to just watch the tower and really like process what you wanted to do with it as it's ha like as it's coming down. So like for example, yeah, okay. when I play, I think to myself, "All right, what's this wave look like and how am I going to use the Q and the E to get everything?" And as you can see, I'm naturally just going instead of autoing it randomly, I'm naturally just sitting here and I'm going like this and I'm watching it and I'm just thinking about what I'm going to do next. That's all I'm doing. So I watch okay. it and I'm like, okay, here I'm gonna have to auto E to kill it, right? Right, because one auto won't. Now later in the game, it's probably one and done, right? Yeah, later in the game, uh, you could just start like you, you you modify depending on how fed you are, right? And so the idea is that you're constantly calibrating, like, okay. I need exactly this many tower shots. That's why it's really important that you don't randomly auto shit until you know what the fuck the consequence is to that. Yeah, totally. I get you. Yeah, and I, I'm definitely guilty of just the meh clicking, you know. Just yes, the... because when you're new, when you're new, you don't really know what that means. Like, you don't know what any of that means. So right. you're not really thinking about, okay, that's going to be really bad if I do that. Like, right there, you can see I set them up every time in the same way. And minions mm -hmm. modify things a little bit. Like, that minion fucks this up. 
sometimes, you know, if a minion screws you, it screws you, see? Yeah, totally. And you can manage sometimes if you can process what's happening fast enough, you can sometimes fix it if you're clever about your champion. But again, it just comes with experience. Now for a freeze. All right, you, you fucking minions are annoying me now. <laughs> so for a freeze, it's the same thing. You want to just now, if you visually want to just see it, you want to do something like this, where you're right outside the tower, like right here. And what this does is now you can just use your passive and just auto, and it's just like free health kit. Your passive is what keeps your health high. You see that? Yeah. And yeah, as the wave gets too big, as the wave gets too big, just do this, right? And just, and just keep auto Yeah. Bit. I have, I'm like cheating right now because I have, hold on. There you go. But like, if the wave gets too massive, then maybe you should mix in, you know, an E or something. You see that? Uh huh. So you're not wasting any auto attacks here. No. I'm autoing this whole time because I see my, look at my health. And this, yeah. notice all my minions are like in base. Like, I'm not, you know. This is Nasus tanking everything. Like, he's tanking everything. I have nothing. I have no Doran shield right now. Look how long he can do this. Yeah, for a long ass time. Yeah. Until you run out of mana. <laughs> Legit. Like, you could do this a long time. And if you stay mobile like this, it's pretty... It's pretty wild. You see? Yeah, totally, man. So, next... I wanted to go over real quick... TPs. So just to, to drill this real quick, though. So, like... I mean, I should be... What do you think is more important for me right now? Spending time in practice tool or playing games or maybe a little both? Like, yeah, yeah, I a little play, both. Like, like, a good idea. Like, that drill, man, that drill is the real deal. Like, it may, it may seem dumb, but like, this no, shit. It's, it's not dumb. This shit right here is everything. Yeah, nothing you tell me is dumb, dude. You know what you're talking about. This right here. This, look. Uh, where's my. There we go. So, the way I do it, when you're doing a drill like this, you just practice like, you you know, you're in a game, you're, you're like wiggling around, wiggling around, wiggling around, and you just imagine like you see a Lux binding go like this, right? Like it goes, it goes like by you or something, right? The minute you see that, or Morgana bind misses, the minute you see that shit, you just straight up like... Oh, bam. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So... So again, E early, because E is breaking armor. So when I've been doing E late, it really doesn't do shit for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I ideally, want, you want to try to mix it all together. I was just starting you off light. And then towards the end, look, big shield. Oh no, I was talking about like in game. I found myself doing oh, yeah, E yeah. late. Yeah, you want to so, like dump it on them. Like as soon as you have, um, as soon as you like decide to go all in. Like, because once you auto queue too, like if you auto queue with armor broken, you're doing yeah. See, you're shredding that. Yeah, it's it's totally. immediate, and it, you would have beaten that set. Yes, if you time it better and you stay mobile. So the next drill you could do is this. So imagine you're, you're all inning a guy, right? And so mm -hmm. let's reset it. So what you could do then is when you're fighting somebody, you can legit do some shit like this, where you like auto queue. Look at this. Look at that. You're okay. like god mode versus them now. Right, because you're withering them so they can't move really. Yes. You can legit okay. just like fuck somebody up, oh, especially then, late and game. And then you're, yeah, and look at you picking up that, or that stack of fleet. Yeah. This is the type of shit that like high elo players will do to you. It's so annoying. Like that you can't do anything versus it. So they'll just yeah, no, they'll no. walk in, right? They'll do their thing. And then they immediately just go like this, and they just, you can't even fight back. Like, it's so stupid. Okay, cool. Um, so why is and this relevant? Well, because there's going to be fights where, you know, you've got a team collapsing or something. And so you want to go in and, like, you want to pressure, but you don't want to get hit by shit, right? Yeah. So you're, like, moving or you're, like, staying mobile in these fights. And that's what you're trying to think about is like, how can I be as annoying as possible? Now, the next thing I want to show you is TP usage. So, there's can, examples. Can you explain the mechanics a little bit? Do you have to be 
So do you have to select some? I'm sure you'll go over this, but you have to select something before you hit F. Yeah. So like you could do it on minimap. So um, hold on. So for one, you can do it like you could do it on minimap like so, right? You could just. Okay. Um, that's one way you can do it. So you could legit just you can't select minions though. But you could select, um, I don't know if you can do wards or not. I'll find out right now. Uh, hold on. I'm trying to TP to it and I can't. You see this? Yeah, yeah, I, I got you. Okay. So, so you have to go like map. this. Yeah, wait, why can't I? Hold on a second. Let me try something here. Maybe I can. Maybe it's just bugged. Hold on. Okay, it's bugged. Let me try something. I don't think that you can... Yeah, it's bugged. Fuck it. So, technically, you can only TP to towers before 14 minutes. After 14 minutes, you can TP. You can see that right there. After 14 minutes, you can TP to minions. You can TP to wards. Right? Okay. You've got all this cool shit that you can do. For some reason, it won't upgrade. Um, I think you can TP to wards and minions now on minimap. I'm not sure. I The way I do it, I'm going to be honest, I would not recommend doing it this way with, with minimap. The way right. you're supposed okay. to TP, just actually, I'm teaching a bad habit. I don't know the difference, but I do know how I do it, and I never use the fucking minimap. Okay, cool. I legitimately just go like this. I'm just like, a fight breaks, like, say, this is an example of a good TP, okay? So your team's fighting. You're on blue team, right? Blue team's bot team. Blue team, for, blue for bottom. Just remember blue mm -hmm. for bottom and you'll remember which side you're on, okay? So blue for bottom. Okay, cool. Look at this fucking fight here. You're in base. You think, oh shit, that's a big fight. I want to be a part of that fight. Great. Do a TP like this here. So you just put your mouse here and press TP. You'll pop up, right? In a real game, same situation. You would show up like this, same exact thing. Like, literally same fucking thing oh. that we just went over. And fuck people up. Right? That's it. Now, that's a good TP. An example of a bad TP would be something like this. You know, there's a wave under tower up here. Right? Uh, like this. Mm -hmm. I'll see noobs all the time just like TPing to nothing, like out here. This doesn't do anything for you. Because the wave is going to push back to you anyways. Right? right? TPs are good when you're gonna miss the farm unless you TP'd, and that's that's normally it, or flanks. That's where now, you should if, start. If, if someone's sieging a tower and say it's like half health, do you want to teleport to that tower? If you're confident you can win that Yeah, duel? if you think you can duel, yeah, you do the same thing. You would just TP, ghost, all wither, run them down. Because yeah. I guess that TP gives you a little bit of speed boost, right? So then you could probably pair it with your ghost, wither, and be moving and shaking, huh? Yes, exactly. Um, one question for you about the uh, the A left click is that, and now I I know that um, you've always talked about you know you know want to try stuff and put yourself out of your comfort zone. Is that something that I want to add? Because I don't want to add too much stuff to where I feel like I I can't you know operate. I mean, on it's the it's it's how it's how I play. So I mean, it comes from real time strategy games. If you want to mess with it, just literally A and left click the ground and make sure this yeah, it's, setting It's is like on. patrol from StarCraft, correct? It's like attack move in StarCraft. Oh, okay, so I ooh, maybe I don't know. Alright, wasn't that good at StarCraft, but I just know that there was a command. There is patrol, that would make and patrol walk. does I mean it is it's essentially patrol, yes. But the thing is patrol would normally mean that you would do this. Hold on. Uh patrol would in a real in a real time strategy game, patrol would be this. So like you, your character would go like this. Right, right, okay. Attack move, it's, attack is. move is more like this, where um, they, there's a terminus if they don't find something. Yeah, so they literally just like when Nasus moves forward, this moves forward, right? So totally. Okay. See what I mean? Um, does it prioritize champions over minions? That's why I have you tar uh, do attack move on cursor. It does not prioritize champions over minions. So like if you've got shit like this going on, just make so the way it, I explain it to people 
is each imagine each minion has a little circle around it okay so something like this all right, right. so now mm -hmm. wherever you click near so see how he's targeting that one mm-hmm I'm not clicking on them. Whichever the mouse right. is closest to is where it goes. Okay. Now, now, if they're stacked up really close. Exactly. You would just visualize it. Imagine you were you were processing this, right? Mm -hmm. If I want to hit this minion, I would just click like that. If okay. I want to hit the, or just click on it, obviously. If I want to hit this minion, right. I would just try to click on it or click like this. If okay, I want to hit cool. this one easy, if I want to hit this one easy, A left click, right click, that's it. Okay, great. Awesome, Got it? Man. Dude, I, I want to thank you so much, and I just, real quick, just want to tell you, like, I read a lot of stuff about, like, what you charge and this and that align. I just want to say that I respect your game, man, and don't let anybody ever get you down. You are, you you have really turned uh, an ability, a passion into uh, a ways to make a living, man. So don't ever, ever let people get you down about that shit. I think 